Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another series of this system. Luke with Premium Aquatics here. We are uh, very happy with these zoanthids. They are looking phenomenal. They're doing great. They came out. They came out when they were literally in the bag in the box. So I knew they were going to be nice and healthy. They were. I, I saw many pictures before I even got them. They were extremely healthy. Um, so I had no doubts. They were just going to pop right out as long as my system was good. So uh, they're doing phenomenal. They look amazing. I uh, can't wait to get them to grow and finally get to, you know, get that zoanthid garden ready. So I uh, have to have that. This week though, we are doing something on the return that I had talked about previously, never had the chance to get it yet, but today we got it. And that is this puppy right here. This is a Swiss check valve, uh, one inch, but this is basically, it's a plunger style check valve. And the way this is works, I'll get this up here a little closer. Um, so there's uh, obviously the straight tube right here. This is where water's gonna go. And right in this part is a little plunger. When the water is running, it's gonna go up here and it's gonna push this plunger out of the way. When I turn off the water or when I do feed mode or anything like that, Water's gonna stop, that plunger is gonna be forced down and water will no longer be able to travel backwards like it is at this point. Um, I can do maintenance on this just by removing this cap here. We can take this out, we can take the plunger out. This is exactly what it looks like. Really simple setup, but very, very effective. So this is what I will be installing today to ensure I can now do feed mode on this Varios. Um, I haven't been able to, which really stinks, especially when I want to um, be doing feedings with zoanthids or my Duncans or even the anemones. That thing is sweeping back and forth and eventually it hits everything. So um, this will be nice to allow me to feed all these corals without having to shut down the pump and then wait for the water, which when I do that, I don't, I, I've done it already many times, but the problem I have is because that sea swirl is you know, down to here, it basically, when I turn that pump off, it creates a back siphon and I lose water probably a good inch and a half, two inches, which is significant considering now that I have corals that are gonna start to uh, be placed everywhere. Um, this rock here is already, the tip is out of the water, which I actually don't mind, I like it. But if I were to want corals here or on this rock over here, guarantee you it's going to start coming out of the water as that would drain and I can't have that or especially like this rock definitely would I just can't have that so I don't want to have any water drain anymore so this is going to make it so it stops as soon as I'm done as soon as I hit the feed motor as soon as I turn it off for whatever reason it's going to stop that pump and then it's going to stop the water immediately there's no back siphon that's going to happen so all I'm going to lose is the amount that this overflow can drain, um, which is gonna be maybe half an inch or so. Uh, so I'll still lose a little, but it's not gonna be nearly to the amount that I would with that. And I, again, I, maybe it was even two or three inches. I don't know, but it was it's significant. Um, and maybe I'll, I'll turn it off and I'll show you because everything is down far enough, it's not gonna be affected. I'll, I'll have to turn off the Nero 5 because that will start sucking air heavily. The Ecotech shouldn't, but uh, I'll turn it off anyways, and we'll show you just how bad it is. And I'll then I will install this, and we'll do it again, and we'll mark the differences. I'll show you just how much of a difference this is going to make for me. So, um, which will be nice, because actually, if I put zoanthids up here, it's going to be great, because it's not a it's not a coral that needs height. It's not going to grow up, but it'll grow across. And then when I turn off, it'll still be within the water, I think. Um, but we'll test it out and make sure. And I always can make adjustments if I need to. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the tubing. We're gonna insert this. I'm gonna put uh, clamps on the outside, obviously because it is hose. I want to ensure that I have a very, very tight seal. I'm almost 100% certain I'm going to anyways, but I wanna be safe and make sure we have a really tight seal that this is not gonna come loose by any means even if it's not gonna do it for six months, if seven months is the unlucky month, I'd be in a heap of trouble. So let's get this installed here 
Um, I'll show you after it's installed. And nice thing, very simple. It shows flow is going up, this arrow. Flow up, flow. Let's get this on the aquarium. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna shut it down, turn off all the pumps so you can see what it looks like. Uh, and we'll, I'll mark how low the water actually goes down. And then um, we'll get it installed, turn it back on, fill it back up, and then I'll turn it off again and just show you. So let's turn all this stuff off. Thankfully I have switches for everything. It makes it nice and easy. Everything is off, I believe. So now the Varios. got that off so now you're gonna see it back siphon and we'll see just how low this go I'll get a marker here and we'll mark actually I'll just get a piece of tape and then we'll mark where it uh, stops and I'll make sure that my sump it's not gonna overflow because it's been a little while since I've uh, tested it this way but I'm pretty certain I got plenty of room but you can see already it's really dipping and it's got a little ways to go Okay, so it is now done. Uh, you heard it taking a lot of air. You can see, uh, maybe you can't see, but there is so much rock here that is exposed. Uh, top of this rock, top of this, plus this. A little bit of this rock, not as much on that one, um, but I've got some masking tape here and I will mark this spot. This is where it is cut, where it stops when we do not have a check valve. So, to install the check valve, start it up, do it all over again. All right, so I had to make a little makeshift here. Uh, it wasn't where I wanted to put it, but because of the plumbing piece and how long I had to make it, uh, I had to put it up here by the tank. Um, thankfully, this is where the Stormtrooper helmet goes, so it'll all be hidden anyways, but, uh, it's installed as you can see um, again this is plunger it'll go down when the water is off it'll go down by just by gravity and then once this turns on which I'll turn on here in a second we'll see this plunger move up out of the way for the water to come through so I will put it right here and we'll turn this on and prayerfully everything is tight and no leaks You saw this great plunger moved out of the way and we got water flowing. This is the line, how far it would go down without the check valve. So now I'm gonna put you back up here. I'm going to mark real quick uh, our top line just so you can see. This is about two and five eighths inches. So I almost drained three inches of water up here. Um, that's a lot. That's actually a, a, a heck of a lot especially considering it exposes about one and a half, two inches of some of these rocks. Now we are going to, uh, actually I'll take you back off, get you back over there. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna turn the pump back off the return pump and then you'll see the uh, plunger in action and then we'll see where it drops now in accordance to both of these markers. So, sorry guys, back off. So I will turn off the pump And there you saw it move. It has now gone into the locked position, so no water now is draining from this hose. So now all we have is it draining back on the overflow box. Okay, we're gonna call it here. It might be dripping back there, but for the most part, this is where we're at. Um, so I'll put it over here. So this is literally an inch that we've drained. Um, as opposed to two and five eight. So a big difference between having a check valve and not having a check valve, especially again in my system because I only have 12 inches to begin with. Every inch counts here when I'm talking about my water because if I go too far down, again, the more is exposed, the less I have room to play with. Actually, when I'm doing my setup because lo and behold, electric goes out every now and then, so you never wanna be caught with that. The biggest factor, like I said, is feed mode. 
Now I can officially hit the Varios in feed mode, have it uh, turn off all my pumps, and really go to town on feeding without having to worry about one, water going significantly down all the way here, and I don't have to worry about flow consistently coming out of my return, messing with their ability to eat. Really cool, I like that. Um, that plays a huge difference. Um, you know, like I said, one inch with the check valve, two and five eighths without, that, um, that means a lot for, again, a small system. Like now, if you had a 500 gallon system and you know, you've got room galore and you don't have to worry, you've got 30 inches of depth or 48 inches of depth, maybe not a big deal. But for me and my smaller system, definitely gonna be primo. Really awesome, glad I have that installed now. I've been waiting to do it. I just had to wait till we got them back in stock. So uh, we've got it. That's gonna be it for me, guys. Really simple, necessary component. I highly, highly recommend. I don't recommend, there's no point in not having to check valve. It's one of those things really everyone and their brother and sister should have it so get one pick one up uh whatever you do just just make sure you grab one um so you can protect yourself from these type of mayhems let me push this down to three so i don't flood my system see how quiet that is ah so nice i love it so Everyone should have it. Go check it out. I'll put a link in the description below as always. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We appreciate it. Love you. Have a great weekend. If you haven't already, make sure to like, subscribe. Hit that bell for the notification so you stay up to date the most. Up to date. So you stay up to date on this system. As well as our other videos we're putting out. And I will see you next week. Peace. I love it. So good.